Hey, what up, folks? Graphics Rogue here. So I took the week off to try to uh, clear out some room on my computer, and I cleared out a whole bunch of room, so that should make uh, doing videos a whole hell of a lot easier. Upcoming. Got me a whole lot of free... whole lot of freed-up gigs and gigadoos, gigadees on my computer. And uh, we are going to start this new gig-free lifestyle off for the new historical battle. I thought I would do Rome Total War, Rome 1 historical battles, uh, starting off a few of them. Not done with the Napoleon Total Battle, uh, Total War but historical battles, uh, I'm just gonna do all the Total War, Rome historical battles. So, yeah, let's just, uh, start off with one of the Rome 1 battles. And today I thought I'd do a little known, a little known one that a lot, not a lot of people know of, not a lot of people care about. The Battle of Telamon. After the end of the first, uh, after the end of the first Punic War, the Romans had every right to feel pleased with their results. There had been unrest in the northern in northern Italy, but the mere p appearance of an army had quashed any opposition. However, in 225 B.C., an alliance of Gallic tribes and mercenaries from the Transalpine Gaul had moved into Etruria through an unguarded pass in the Apennines. To meet this invasion, the Romans called on the resources and manpower of all of all middle and southern Italy, who rapidly mobilized into defense forces. As a result, they succeeded in outmaneuvering the Gauls and forced the invaders toward a coast of toward the coast of Tuscany. While another army made an unopposed landing at Pisa and prevented them from from uh, a line of and prevented them from a line of retreat. The Gauls were surrounded and trapped. After, the, after Telamon, the Romans decided that enough was enough. Northern, Northern Italy would have to be secured and the Gauls defeated, a task that would virtually double the area under Rome's direct control. By 220 BC, nearly all the Gallic tribes had submitted and Carthage was severely weakened by the loss of one, one of its main sources of mercenaries. The peace won, the peace won would not be long-lasting. So let's uh, check out the battle of Telamon. This will be our army. Uh, I really wish these armies were bigger. They're so small and stupid. I'm gonna try to mod some of these uh, battles out and see if I can make some more epic modded battles with bigger forces, so yeah. Two twenty five BC, and the bloody First Punic War is at an end. Rome now expects little resistance as she uses her might and influence. Shoot it! The mere sight of her armies quashes any signs of opposition. Peace, however, never seems to last. Gallic tribes and mercenaries have marched from Transalpine Gaul into Etruria through an unguarded pass in the Apennines. To meet this invasion, the Romans have called on resources and manpower from across central and southern Italy. A powerful defensive force has been rapidly mobilized. They have outmaneuvered the Gauls, forcing these barbarians towards the Tuscan coast. Meanwhile, a second Roman army has landed at Pisa. The Gauls now have no line of retreat. They are surrounded, trapped. Sailed from both sides, the Gauls must fight for their very existence as a free people. Their only hope for survival is to quickly defeat the Roman forces in front of them. And then turn to deal with the Romans approaching from the rear. Or their defeat is certain.
Ooh, I do love these historical battles. I do love them a lot. All right, we've got a task ahead of us today, people. Let me get some guys back here. I'm gonna push him on ahead. So we got a, we got one army coming up from behind here. Ooh, I need to turn that off. I like the idea of restrict camera, but I just I like to see everything. I like the cinematic feel of seeing everything. I like the idea of it, but a restrict camera is not for me. So we got another army coming up from behind. We need to defeat this army before that army comes and messes with us. So let's move these guys up. Let's move these guys up. Uh, da, 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 like, do it like that. And we're gonna attack. I'm gonna attack that. I'm gonna attack these Astati with that horse, with that uh, war dogs. Attack those Astati with those war dogs, and let's get out of pause. There we go. All right, let's move our cavalry ahead. First, first uh, Jinda, destroy the Roman cavalry. March forth, men. Oh boy, it's not going good for the Romans. Oh man, no, they're t crap. Oh no. Well, they got into my guys. All right, what are you guys doing back here? Come on, let's get, let's figure out what we're gonna do. All right, charge that general. Take out the general. You guys charge in the backs of these Astati. See if we can get a good look at this. Oh, come on. Come on. Boom, shakalaka. The enemy warlord shows his worth. Nothing. Any of our warriors would die rather than run. All right, let's hurry this up, guys. We gotta, we gotta run down, we gotta run them down well enough so they don't uh, bother us in the future. All right, we defeated the first army. Actually, that was a little easier than I thought it would be. Maybe I should have played this on hard. Uh, it's, it's fine. It's nothing to worry about. All right, let's charge up. Charge at these villages. All right, get our the infantry in position. The Romans, the enemy, down. the Romans are coming up, coming up fast. Who are you guys? All right, you go, ba ba ba. You go, ba ba ba. Okay, we got our cavalry. Get our cavalry into position, people. Everybody run. What are these? Oh, those are the dogs. I was wondering what they were. <laughs> they're still, there are a lot of them still alive and they're chasing down the enemy. All right, the Romans are coming. We gotta, we're gonna hold this hill here. This will be, uh, we are, will uh, take protection from a nice hilly area. Can we go up here? Yeah, we can. Unfortunately, I don't like this. That is one thing that messes up uh, mods and future things that the soldiers can run up the hill. They fixed this in, um, in Medieval 2, but if Rome wanted, they could just walk right across this steep right here. That is really dumb. So it's not really a protection. No, we'll see how everything goes let's take them off skirmish i just want to hold hold our position until the romans begin to engage let's uh, charge our war dogs with them hopefully our dogs come back and want to help us out all right charge ahead we're going to want to take out these flanking roman these flanking roman cavalry here yep see they're going up the side there that's really dumb looking all right, they've got a bunch of Triarii. That is dangerous. All right, let's charge right into the sides. 
take the general charge of their velites. These guys are gonna charge these cavalry over here. All right, you guys just chuck spears at that the general unit. Take them out. Oh boy, battle is being had this day. We are holding the line. We are holding steady, but. Oh, don't chase after him. We've already routed them. All right, we need to take these guys out. All right, we're, we're slaughtering that missile unit pretty well. The cavalry are coming back around. Come back around for a charge. Come back around for another charge on the backs of these principes. Oh, boom, that guy went flying. Oh, the battles. I love Rome 1 battles feels so good all right let's oh that general's hard to take out uh, some of their guys are starting to wet starting to wrap them hell yeah yeah the one lord lies dead now he can drink with his ancestors and watch his warriors flee yeah we took him out the general got knocked the fuck out cheer men cheer and rejoice Oh, we are chasing them down now. The battle has been won, and the Romans have been stopped from conquering Cisalpine Gaul. And as we all know, Rome never comes back after being defeated. So, there will be no Roman Empire, I guess. Huzzah! Huzzah to the Cisalpine Empire. Oh, boy. They just keep coming back from routing, though. Once your men are in Shut up. Keep talking. Shut up. Let's see if we can turn something. Advice level high, no. I don't want to put it on none because I think the advice helps me find out like who's routing and what generals are doing what. Alright, the battle is won. Fuck up. He's popping up and annoying me. He's not nearly as annoying as the Rome 2 advisor though, but. <laughs> enemy army runs. Oh boy. Now hunt them. All right, we have had victory this day, men. Victory. Your warriors have killed until they can kill no more. This is a crushing victory. From this scroll, you can victory for Gaul. Boy, oh boy, that was the victory. That was glorious. A little too easy. I should have put that on should have put that on hard. It was uh, easier than I remembered it being, actually. Anyways, hey, why don't you guys uh, let me know which one of these battles you want to see next. Which uh, Rome 1 battle you want to see next. That ought to be fun. So we got Lake Tresamine. That's a, a Carthaginian battle between Hannibal and Rome. We got Raphia. That's the battle between uh, Seleucids and Egypt. We have that battle in Rome 2. But in this battle, you play as the Seleucids. We have the Battle of Jugovia, a siege between Vercingetorix and Caesar. We got the Battle of the River Trebia, another battle between Rome and Carthage, uh, Rome and Hannibal. The Battle of Asculum, this is the battle between Rome and Epirus, King Epirus, when he invaded Italy. We've got Carahae between uh, Parthia and Rome, when, when uh, Crassus ignorantly destroyed his entire legion for no reason. We got the Battle of Cynocephali. The battle that uh, won Greece for Rome, where King Philip and the Macedon Macedonian kingdom was conquered by Rome. We have the Battle of Teutoburg Forest, which is Rome 1's version of Teutoburg's Forest. It's pretty cool in its own way. I think overall, I think Rome 2's uh, Teutoburg Forest is the best Teutoburg Forest, but this one's still cool in its own way. And we have the Siege of Sparta. I don't know much about this one, but... It seems that uh, King Epirus was a uh, part of it, I guess. Bloodied by his campaigns in Italy. He says, yeah, so Epirus wants to conquer Sparta. So yeah, let me know uh, what do you think should be the next one. That would be pretty cool. I am your graphics rogue, and I will see you next time. Peace.